have likely encountered some form of AI generated content on YouTube in the last 12 months. I do a lot of my own stunts, but I also do a lot of industrial cleanup. But the scary thing is, you might not have even realized. I don't think anyone wants a world where the people who broke the law should be responsible for their actions. That is a problem for the platform, and YouTube is about to take action. And I'm not sure what you're gonna think. First things first, consider this a first draft of how YouTube is going to treat AI content going forward. There is a lot happening and it's happening fast, so things may change. Here's a blog post I highly recommend you go read yourself. It is linked in the description just below that glorious like button. As we all know, YouTube already has comprehensive policies and guidelines in place to protect viewers, creators, advertisers, and the platform as a whole. But the rapid development of AI over the last 12 months has flattened the playing field and changed everything. The creative barriers to entry are lower than ever, and content can be produced and published at a rate we've never seen before. Up until now, YouTube's policies and guidelines have mentioned AI in passing, but in truth, they're not fit for purpose today. So YouTube is going to fix all of this in 2024. So the key thing as of right now is not to panic. Continue exploring the benefits of using AI creatively in your content, but be prepared for what's to come. This is a YouTube announcement. Over the coming months, we'll introduce updates and inform viewers when the content they see is synthetic. Specifically, we'll require creators to disclose when they've created, altered, or synthetic content that is realistic, including using AI tools. When creators upload content, we will have new options for them to select to indicate that it contains a realistic, altered, or synthetic material. Now I'm sure this statement creates a lot of concerned questions in your head. Will AI content not be monetizable? Will YouTube shadow ban my AI content? And should I stop using tools such as vidIQ's AI coach to suggest titles and write scripts? No, it doesn't mean any of that. But in order to understand why, you'll have to keep watching. Yeah, sneaky watch time retention trick there. YouTube has provided some mock-ups of how this information might be disclosed to viewers. For YouTube Shorts, you can see the alert is displayed both in the description and painted onto the video player screen too. There aren't any mock-ups of the long form or desktop experience, but we can only imagine it will be very similar to the way the includes paid promotion notification pops up in the top left hand corner of the screen at the start of a video. And YouTube will also disclose when one of their own AI creation tools is used, such as the dream screen feature that's available from the YouTube creator mobile app. And that's the key thing to note at this point. YouTube doesn't hate AI. It doesn't want to prevent you from using AI. It even has its own AI tools, but it does need to start establishing the parameters around why, when, and how it's used. AI's powerful new forms of storytelling can also be used to generate content that has the potential to mislead viewers. This is especially important in cases where the content discusses sensitive topics, such as elections, ongoing conflicts, public health crises, or public officials. Now, this isn't really any of the examples just mentioned, but it is a popular example of a famous person being personated through AI, which may actually fool you into thinking this is really Tom Cruise. You keep your hands clean, but you need that exfoliating product to really cut through the grime. And this is where a important decision has to be made. Does the AI alert appear just in the video description or also during video playback? For the Tom Cruise impersonation, maybe, but probably not for something like this where it's clearly AI generated. Hit that like button and subscribe to Paisa Wysa. I guess Paisa Wysa have just got a free shout out. Their channel is one of the many who have jumped on the use AI to make lots of money bandwagon in the last 12 months. Yes, this is exactly the type of channel automation and content generation these new policies look to, how do I put this, legislate. But as well as protecting viewers from being misled, YouTube also wants to protect creators from being exploited. We've heard continuous feedback from our community about the ways in which emerging technologies could impact them. So in the coming months, we'll make it possible to request the removal of AI generated or other synthetic or altered content that simulates an identifiable individual, including their face or voice, using our privacy request process. So yeah, maybe Tom Cruise does feel a need 
not for speed, but for privacy. In addition to this, a request can be made to remove AI-generated music that too closely resembles an artist's unique style, but it may only be available to YouTube's music partners, whatever that means. As I said earlier, this is YouTube fixes AI on the platform version 1.0. There is a lot of detail I'm not going into, which is why I highly recommend you read the blog after you finish watching this video. In short, any youbs who've been taking advantage of the platform through AI black hat tactics are on notice. The hacks, the loopholes, the exploits are about to disappear and your day of reckoning is coming soon. But now we need to get back to a key phrase that was mentioned at the beginning of this video. Creators required to disclose. That means you've got to tell YouTube whether or not you're using AI. Will this be in the form of a simple option like the paid promotion one or an entire screen similar to the ad suitability guidelines that covers all sorts of stuff? But perhaps the most difficult question of all to answer is, what constitutes enough AI use for me to disclose that to YouTube? Does a fake background generated by AI count? I can see that being a huge headache for YouTube to try and answer in the coming months. And you, the creator, have a responsibility to be honest and transparent with your answers. Creators who consistently choose not to disclose this information may be subject to content removal, suspension from the YouTube partner program, or other penalties. Yep, education on this topic is going to be critical, which is why we're here. So make sure to subscribe. Cheeky call to action there. Now I know for a fact that this video is going to generate a lot of questions from you, the creator community. And I'm going to be honest, I haven't got the answers yet. But post them anyway, just in case YouTube is watching and it may help them educate you when all of this lands next year. And if you want to see how we got on when vidIQ created a fully automated AI channel on YouTube, the epic story is over here now.